Who do you think is ultimately defeating Roman? Well, Roman is out of challengers. There's two left. There's The Rock, and there's Cody. And I believe that the two men's main events at WrestleMania are going to be The Rock and Roman Reigns, and the winner of that versus Cody on Sunday. And, you know, there's... there's I, I like that, not just because I came up with it, but here's why I like it. If you only had one day of WrestleMania, and you did The Rock and the Roman Reigns for the Universal title, I mean, maybe you could convince people that Rock is going to win and come back for backlash and drop the title. But, bro, it's The Rock, okay? You do one night of WrestleMania, Rock and Roman Reigns, and even though you could conceivably maybe somehow make it work in Rock's schedule, I would think that most everybody is thinking Roman Reigns is going to beat The Rock, okay? If you do The Rock and Roman Reigns on Saturday, and you have the winner face Cody on Sunday, then what you leave the people with is a lot of different options that can happen. Roman, I mean, I, I wouldn't do this, but Roman could beat The Rock, and then he could go on to beat Cody. Roman could beat The Rock and go lose to Cody. The Rock could beat Roman Reigns and become the Universal Champion and lose it to Cody the next day. There are multiple options with a two-day WrestleMania and those two matches. So that's that's what I would do. And uh, and I like that better than the alternative, which is Cody versus Roman on Saturday and the winner faces The Rock on Sunday. Because I still don't think you have a lot of people think Cody is going to win to face Roman or The Rock since they've been building up Rock and Roman Reigns, teasing it in one way or the other forever. So that's the way that I would do it. I don't know what they're going to do, but I would I would definitely have Cody walking out of Sunday as a champion. It's time for something new. I mean, we've seen this Roman thing forever. He's, he can still be a huge star. He doesn't need to be the champion. I think it's time for somebody else to, uh, to win that title. This person here says, I was thinking maybe Apollo Crews will beat Braun for the title. Maybe that will happen, but after seeing Dijak put the title on him. I wouldn't do that yet. And I don't know what they're going to do with Apollo and... And the question is going to be, do they want to bring Braun up for the Royal Rumble? If they want Braun in the Royal Rumble, then he's going to lose to Apollo Crews. If they don't think it's time yet, he's probably going to win. But we'll see in a few weeks. This person here says, the Elite could be booked like the 2004 Boston Red Sox in the feud with the Death Triangle, being down 0-3 to and having to battle back to win the series. It's a classic comeback story in sports. It would also make sense that Dick Jackson will take the pin tonight due to the usage of the hammer as Kenny and Matt were the ones pinned in the previous two matches. You're right that it is an obvious comeback story, but that's in sports. In sports, you go 0-3, and three, and the fans have absolutely no idea if you're going to win the next one, if you can actually go on that streak. Whereas in pro wrestling, if they go 0-3, and three, nobody's going to believe that they're losing the next match. Everyone knows they're winning the next match, and everyone's presuming they're winning the match after that, so that you can stretch this out as long as possible. If you have them go one in three, then the result of the next match is in doubt. And they can lose the next match, and then they have to win the next one, and then you can you can stretch it out. They could do it, but I, I predict that the Elite is winning tonight. But we shall see. Back in a moment, Observer Live. i say something about Roman here, and we'll do NXT in a minute. So Roman Reigns is not like a singular business mover to the degree of a John Cena, Hulk Hogan, Steve Austin, Rock, etc. But at this point, they don't need that person. They're making money hand over fist. Hand over fist! And they've got a new TV deal that they'll be signing that I would bet will uh, lead to them making money whatever above hand over fist is, okay? But as far as, like, crowd reactions... Who comes across as by far the biggest star in WWE? Well, right now it's Roman Reigns. So they have got him to where they wanted him to be. So to me, you've you've done this. You've you've turned him into a legend to the fan base. He's set his records. He's far and above beyond everybody else. So at WrestleMania, it's time for him to put somebody over. 
Cody is, you know, Cody's in his mid thirties. I think he's thirty six right now, and uh, and it's time for somebody else to be on top. Now, what do you do with the Roman Reigns? People asked. <laughs> well, here's what you do with the Roman Reigns. He's still number two. I mean, he'll probably by the, he'll probably be seen by the fans as as co number one, but he is still one of your biggest stars. He's still a main eventer, but without the championship, what you can do is you can do a long term feud with a with a Kevin Owens, for example. And unlike what they've done, he doesn't have to beat Kevin Owens four times. You can do the feud, and in the end, he puts over a Kevin Owens. Or, you know, what's everybody talked about? Oh, man, you know what I'd love to see is if Sami Zayn beat Roman Reigns for the Universal title. Well, I don't think Sami Zayn is beating Roman Reigns for the Universal title. But if, if Roman Reigns had not been the Universal champion, you absolutely could do a seven-month story where at the end of it, you do the big Roman reigns Sami Zayn match in Montreal, and Sami Zayn beats Roman Reigns. There's no title on the line. It doesn't matter. So Roman's role from this point forward, he shouldn't go and put everybody over. But the way it's been, because he's champion, they don't want to beat him. He has all of these feuds with all the top baby faces, and he beats them every time. If Roman hadn't been the champion... Drew McIntyre could have beaten Roman Reigns in Cardiff in front of that 70,000 people or whatever it was, and it would have been it would have been a lifetime career-making performance for Drew McIntyre to get that win on that show in front of that crowd. But you couldn't do it because they didn't want to beat Roman Reigns before WrestleMania. Well, if he's not champion, if it's the right guy at the right time in the right feud, he puts that guy over. That should be his role going forward. And that's what you can do if you take the title off of him. The WWE legendary joke book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Nope. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> what? You said Gramazon. No, I oh. said Glamazon. Oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, puppy you get pictures. it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.